My journey at Embrace started with two questions. The first was a question I had while I was a graduate school student at Stanford, taking a class on public health. I wondered, we had a class on infant mortality, and I wondered why infant mortality was considered a development indicator. When I asked my professor this question, he answered, because it's a social mirror. I was puzzled. I wasn't sure I knew exactly what he meant by this. The second question someone asked me as I was moving to India to do this work. She was skeptical, and she asked, so many babies in these countries die. Do mothers even care, or is it an accepted, everyday part of life? I came to discover the answer to both of these questions soon after I moved to India, and after I began to meet the countless women who had lost their babies. I'd like to share one of their stories with you today. Unfortunately, Chandu is not alone. Every year around the world, three million babies die within the first 28 days of their life. That's six babies every minute. Most of these deaths are forgotten about, for the most part, except for by mothers. This is the absolute worst tragedy a mother could endure. There's no more helpless of a feeling than watching your child die. And yet, in many of these communities, not only do mothers lose their children, they are blamed for these deaths. I now know that a mother, no matter how poor, no matter how impoverished, no matter how uneducated, will go to any length to save her baby. If there are this many babies still dying, there's something deeply wrong with the solutions and the systems that exist today, including a lack of technologies that empower these mothers to save their children. One of the biggest problems these babies face is staying warm. They're unable to regulate their own body temperature. That is the primary function of a baby incubator. But incubators cost up to $20,000, they require a constant supply of electricity, and they require a trained doctor or a nurse to operate. In a country like India, where there's one doctor for every 2,000 patients, this poses a huge challenge. My team and I at Embrace have been working on a low-cost way to tackle this problem. And what we've come up with is the Embrace Warmer, which looks like a little sleeping bag for a baby. The core technology is a pouch of a wax-like substance, a phase-change material, that, when melted, maintains a constant temperature of 37 degrees Celsius for up to eight hours at a stretch. You can heat this either with a short burst of electricity or with boiling water, and you can reuse this over and over again. The product is portable, it complements existing practices like skin-to-skin -skin care, and it's been designed to be easy enough for a mother to use. Looks simple but this has gone through hundreds of iterations over the years as we've tested and retested to make sure that it's locally appropriate. What I've come to discover in this process, however, is that technology itself is only part of the solution. In order for technology to be effective, there must be intent. Technology will only multiply that intent. No one has the intent to save a baby more than a mother. And yet few, if any, solutions in this space are designed for those with the greatest intent. In fact, when Embrace first started, we created a version of the product that could be used by doctors and nurses in a clinical setting. We wanted to introduce the product into a safer environment with trained caregivers. What we found out later, as we trained doctors, nurses and mothers, was that it was the mothers 
who perform best in our training assessments. It was the mothers who were uneducated and illiterate, who paid the most attention, who retained the most information. With a technology designed with this intent, the Embrace Warmer is now saving lives around the world. This is Shiva Madhama. She comes from a, a small village in South India. She and her family are all farmers. This is her mother and her grandmother behind her. She gave birth to a three and a half pound baby that was kept in the device. And this was a baby a few months later when we went to visit. He was at a healthy weight, and the mood in the house was festive as the family was deciding what to name the baby in the nine-month naming ceremony. And although it was a joyous occasion, it was also a stark reminder to us that in India, many babies aren't named until they hit nine months because it's so common they'll die before then. This is Kirti. Kirti lost her first baby and gave birth to a second child at a little over three pounds that was kept in the warmer. And this is a baby three months later. You can tell she's grown into a nice little butterball. And she just celebrated her first birthday. And this is Sarah. Sarah is from Uganda. She has a fourth grade education. She's also a farmer. She gave birth to her baby one month prematurely. That was kept in the warmer. And this is the baby at seven months. She's happy and healthy. And this picture was just taken a week ago. Embrace has now helped over 5,000 babies, mostly in India, but with pilots happening in nine countries around the world. And we hope to help many more, not only with this technology, but with a line of innovative, affordable technologies designed for the users with the greatest intent. It's only now that I fully understand what my professor meant when he said, infant mortality is a social mirror. It's because I've seen firsthand over and over again how selfless and how courageous these mothers are. They will do anything to save their babies, and yet these babies are still dying in such vast numbers. Today's mirror reflects a profoundly sad picture. I believe we can solve this problem and other major social problems by designing solutions that enable the most beautiful part of the human spirit to be actualized, our intent to protect and to care for those whom we love. And that is the picture I hope to see when we look into that mirror. Thank you.